tastes a little dead, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for Dead Man's Blood, the first time that vampires appeared in Supernatural in season one. This is an episode that I've actually been really looking forward to because I had different feelings, memory feelings about this episode. Part of me thinks this is actually a really good episode. Another part of me is like, this is a really cheesy episode. At least to say, I was both right, but about different things. For instance, I thought that the leader of the Lost Boy ripoff kind of vampire group was the cheesy point of the episode when actually he's a really well layered villain character he actually gets mad at his group for going after the hunter who had the cult he realizes that the cult is a much more dangerous object than the other group realize, realize and he understands the gravity of the situation he is a smart villain and i enjoy that his vampire lackeys are dumb as shit which speaking of which his girlfriend was lee neeson's wife in the gray yeah, that's Otway's wife. Holy shit, I can't believe that. That's pretty crazy for her. This episode is about when Dean and Sam team up with their dad again to go after a group of vampires because they killed a hunter who was holding on to the legendary cult. It's really funny that there's so much legend around this gun because he says on the day that Haley's Comet was flying over and the day that all the guys at the Alamo died. It's like, it didn't need just one legendary date. It, it needed two things. Like, you know, so much legend in this gun. This is one of the most important pieces of lore in the supernatural show but unfortunately it lost its flavor and its its appeal over time because it's gone i know of and i actually can't remember when it was destroyed i know that an angel or a demon one of the demon knight things just melted the gun I think in one of the recent andrew dab shit seasons this gun has been one of the most reoccurring like one of the most sought after items of the entire supernatural lore and there's good reason to it it has a lot of cool mystery to it a lot of cool legend to it and this episode set it up really well admittedly when he shoots the vampire at the end the bullet takes about half a minute to kill him and all this the dynamic between Sam and Dean and their father, the constant conflict that these guys had, we really see it more so in this episode. We didn't see it in Shadow. Admittedly, we see it a little bit too much because Jared really hams it during this one uh, argument that they have. This is why I left in the first place. What'd you say? <laughs> and that's how it, the rest of that argument goes. And it's really funny because... Jeffrey Dean Morgan is acting really well in this scene and Jared is just kind of over emoting and Dean's just off to the side. I do like the rest of the episode though. I'll give it that. But this part is just so over the top for me that that's why it, it loses a little bit of its standing just because of how cheesy this part is. There's a few things about this episode that I don't even remember if been really reflected on, particularly the vampires. They showed them in a really kind of horrifying light in this show. Something that they did that... I don't even know if they've done it later on, but there's this flash that comes across the vampire's eye, kind of like what the shapeshifters have. It is like a little bit of a Blade Runner trick almost, and it happens throughout the episode, but it's very subtle. It's not really in your face about it. It's just kind of done. It's there for like half a second and it's gone again. And they do it a couple of times and I really did enjoy that. The stunt work in this episode is pretty cool, especially when those guys fall through the ceiling at the beginning where they kill that hunter. Now re-watching this episode, I remember the appeal of it. I remember the long standing of it and just how well it introduced vampires. And something my roommate brought up too is the show didn't overdo vampires or werewolves. It would always vary it up and they would bring vampires back when it at a good time they would use the vampires well for the most part in this show and that's something that i definitely got to give them props for because they were doing the show when the height of vampires was going on with twilight and true blood right so i'm happy that they were able to stick with their own and not overuse the whole vampire fandom that was going on so we got a great episode about the brothers and their father the constant strife between them the introduction of the cult the introduction of vampires and a pretty good little side villain the only thing that's kind of a negative is just the this is the really cheesy conversation that John and Sam have. It, it just it didn't age well. I was laughing during that scene. However, there's a part later on where John's talking about how he set up a college fund for both Sam and Dean. And they have this little heartfelt talk. And then Sam asks what happened to, his, <laughs> to all the money. And this happens. Spending on ammo. <laughs> so in the end, I'm going to give 
Dead Man's Blood, a 6 out of 7. It's a really good episode. There, It's hindered a little bit because of how hammy that one scene is, but otherwise it's still one of the better episodes for sure of the season. And I can't wait now because we're literally two episodes away from finishing this. So let's read your comments of what you guys said about Dead Man's Blood. So our first comment here is from Karen C. Dead Man's Blood is good for two things, setting up the show's rules, lore, vampires, and two, John's dynamic with each of his boys, keeping them on the need-to-know basis and not respecting them as adults, belittling Dean regarding the, his care of the Impala, continuing Dean's feelings of inadequacy and never being able to live up to his father's expectations, and always fighting with Sam, where we learn John is the one who said never to return if he went to Stanford. Nothing like being disowned by your father because you went you want to go to college. Yeah, that is definitely a, a big part of it and there is something that is definitely reconciled near the end of the episode but it's always a constant thing sam is viewed as the favorite from john right so that's why there's this kind of love hate relationship because he, john wants him near him all the time got one here from rob hannah love dead man's blood we really get to see the rocky late relationship between sam and john how they disobey one of their father's orders to save him. You really see the similarities between John and his boys. It was an enjoyable watch. The other th thing that is indeed the most memorable for me in this episode is the over-the-top way the girl the girl shouts, Luther! It's so horribly comedic. Admittedly, actually, I don't remember this part too much. If this is when he dies, maybe? I think I was just kind of surprised about how long it took for him to die that I didn't notice that. And the final one here from Megan B. I like the episode Dead Man's Blood. I didn't like this comment that John made where he says to Dean, hey Dean, why don't you touch up your car before you get rust? I wouldn't have given you the damn thing if I thought you were going to ruin it. He only said it because he was mad at Sam. How do you feel about the conflict in the episode between Sam and John? Now, admittedly, I didn't go into it as much as I should have, but aside from that cheesy part, it is a really good part. It's a really good dynamic. Like I said, it was different from that of Shadow where they were just reconciling. This is where you get to see the old uh, argumentative and traumatic and troubling family that they had and their conflict constantly with them. The next episode will be Salvation, the pre-season finale. And this is the first time actually that Carry On My Wayward Son was ever shown as a recap. Oh my God, this episode actually had a different recap than that of all the ones prior. Just the, oh, dad's been on a hunting trip. He hasn't been home in a few days. Oh, I just, I'm gotten so goddamn tired of this same recap. The fact that they've just used this same thing over and 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 over again, and the fact that they had a new one at the beginning of this one was so welcome. So I'm happy for that. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.